begin. Begin. Come on, stay out of that grass. Come on. Dip it. I hope I catch five of the right ones, I guess. I hope I catch me a bunch of little ones and like one six pounder. That's all Florida is. All right, I'll catch you guys later. Right, Thank you. We'll see you in the morning. See ya. Just wrapped up our trip to the service yard. We weren't having any work done on the boat per se, but you know, each day and with our score tracker, we're gonna have our satellite communication systems. And that's what keeps us all linked up to score tracker. The mount for that obviously doesn't come on a Phoenix bass boat. So we were getting that installed. Service crew guys, they're just like the do it all guys. It's not really their job to put those in, but we know they have the tools to do it. So everybody goes there to get it done. The junk in the trunk, somewhere in here, I have me some Florida stuff. I don't think I'm gonna need it, but I might go back in a marsh some, whoa. This is the most expensive bin I have right here. It's a bin of chromiums. I need to rig up a drop shot. One more spinning rod. There we go. That's what we need. This is my nemesis of all nemesis right here. Fun fact, last time I threw a Carolina rig, Toledo Bend, 2017. Guess what place I finished? Uh, 90. Fourth. 105th. Worst finish <laughs> of my career. We're starting the year off on a good note with a Carolina rig. Drag a bellow shad out there and see if an old, a big in ain't gonna go boink. A couple hours ago, I was out here rigging tackle and Tyler came out to me and I thought, you know, there was a fire, but he's like, did you see KVD's post? KVD just announced he's retiring. This is gonna be his final season, final lap around the track. And uh, what's crazy is he's just staying like, I don't know, five cabins down. Um, so me and Tyler walked over there, uh, got to talk to him, congratulate him. like. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure we're, the, we're like the first people that talk to him in person about it after the announcement. He got a little emotional. I got a little emotional and I fangirled a little bit. He had a rod that he had snapped. I don't know how. I asked him if I could have it because it was laying on the ground and he signed it for me. So I know exactly where I was and it's been an honor to compete against him. And speaking of competing against him, we got to do it all over again tomorrow. We'll see y'all out there. There you go, try to catch me five. Day one for group B on the Kissimmee chain, going out of Big Toho Marina. You know, today we're only fishing for five big ones. One big fish, two big fish can really make your whole event. There's a pretty good shiner bite going on right now. That's what I'm gonna throw all day. Why, yeah. No, just straight shiners. You fish the Sabine River for fun. For fun, yeah. That's impressive. Yeah. That's dedication. <laughs> Somebody this week will catch a 10 pounder. Hopefully we get lucky, because that is luck. I don't care what anyone says, that's luck. The pike. Dad gum it. That ain't what we wanted. Hell on the board, dude. Two pounds, four ounces. Well, wasn't easy. Well, we caught one here. Good one. Yes. That's close to three. Three pounds, zero ounce. Give me some, give me some. All these fish, dude, they're sitting so tight to the bottom. Look at that. How about that one? I caught a trick worm. <laughs> so we're gonna run back up to Cypress is what we're going. And then it's gonna get to be a grind, but we're gonna hopefully catch some better. One back hook. Gotta be getting tired. He's not that big, but I'll take him. Two pounds, 11 ounces. Two 11. Dude, he's Four so ounce. thick. Yeah, he's thick. He's a thick one. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. We're putting ourselves in a good position with that. If I can, you know, fill out with two more of them heavy twos, we're in good position to go fish for a big one. I got too much. I can't spend too much time here. I got too much on the, on the mind. I don't have enough rods out. I'm gonna get a couple more. <laughs> this is what I'm embarrassed about. Is I got a Carolina rig rigged up somewhere in here. I know you don't throw a Carolina rig on the dang Sabine. Be a bass. Oh yeah, it's a good one. No! Dang it! God! That was like a three and a half pounder. His biggest one of the day we've had. 
feels like a good one. He'll go one four or whatever, one six. One pound, seven ounces. One seven. We gotta get rid of that one. He don't even really count. It feels like we're going back to the same water, but we're fishing totally new water here. Pound, six ounces. Giant call. Doesn't feel like it, but you can really almost cover water just as fast as speed on them. Yeah. Just so like do nothing. Like there I'm ripping grass and feel like I'm fishing. This I feel like I'm just praying. I've got a, I'm pretty sure Gordon Ramsay made this. It's a ham turkey sandwich with a mayo reduction and some aged pepper jack cheese. And this is whole grain. I don't know. It's just a crappy dry sandwich. That was a super tough first period. I don't, I don't exactly know what is happening, but just the quality hasn't been there. I got out on this stuff where I thought I was going to catch big ones. First bite's a big one. Fish comes unhooked and I'm thinking it's going to be a great day. And it's just kind of come to a slow halt. I'm going to fish in this area for another, I don't know, 30 minutes. I'm going to move up shallow and then we're going to run to Kissimmee. And uh, that's where I think my best chance lies of catching, you know, a true Florida giant. He'll help anyway. Two pounds, four ounces. It may not look like much, but as tight as the weights are, it's almost a pound coal. Big one. Big one. Come on right there. Gosh. I got her, baby. Yeah. Dude, that's a big one. Yeah, pounds, one ounce. That's a six pounder, that's baby. Pounder, yeah, that's, that's what makes your day in Florida. It has been a rough day on us. Oh, man, six pounders make the world go round. See ya. We just went from oh no to oh yeah. Boom. Save the day. I'm pretty happy. So much harder today than I thought. Well, the bass forecast rating did say it was going to be like 3.2 today, and today was going to be the worst day. So maybe I can start catching some on the chatter bit again. Yeah, five for sure, so. We'll see you around. All right, all right, bro. Do I look tired? No, you look great. I feel tired. I feel like I have like weights under my eyes. We got weights and fish. We got weights and fish. <laughs> seventh place, 16 pounds, four ounces. I am very excited to be there. I told y'all my goal was one five plus pound bite per day. We got one today, a six one. Came with 20 minutes left and it jumped us from like 11 pounds to 16 and a quarter. So without that fish, we're far below the cut line. No hope, sad. My next day is just get by. Uh, I'm gonna start winding. I'm gonna go down to where I caught that big fish. And I think I should be able to catch enough down there in a full day to get me into the knockout round. You know, And if I get another big bite or two, um, maybe I can just go practicing. That's the hope. I wanna go practicing. That's the area I wanna do it in. For those of y'all that wanna see the practice video from this event, click right here. And uh, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode of the Trimmed Up series. Thank you.